Hello guys and welcome. How is everyone doing today? Today I'm going to check out a new animator and I've never seen any of his videos before and he goes by the name Jeff Vix. And I'm actually glad that he reached out to me and wanted me to check out his animations because you know these days copyright claims like mm, nah, mm. It's very annoying if you receive copyright claims when you work for hours on the video. So I really appreciate when people reach out to me and allow me or want me to check out their animations. And oh wow, like I've seen his thumbnails but I haven't really watched his videos yet. And the way he does his thumbnails, I just think they look really, really cool, really, really dope. So I'm really curious about today's animation and this one is called Weakness and the title makes me wonder like what type of weakness and what will this one be about because this can be like an emotional weakness or this can be like a physical one but yeah I'm really looking forward to this and if you guys are new to the channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content and I would also really really appreciate if you like this video and yeah let's have a look at this one. Oh, there's a character from the Reanimator series as well. Yeah, like, I like those mimics he added. Oh, we're not in the desert biome. That's a huge hammer that this dude is carrying. There's something I already really, really like about this animator and that's like the way those faces are, are made. Like those mimics, like I feel like it's not too easy to come up with good animations for good mimics or here like how this character is like eating that apple. And like those movements or how like here now the mouth opens and the weight opens and how those eyes are changing at the same time. Like to pull this off, even though it looks like so little and small and you're like, oh, that's nothing special. That's just a person eating something. But to do those movements, I feel like, yeah. It's not easy to pull off that well and he did a great job with that. What's inside that chest? Treasure. Oh, the dreadlock. Ooh, I love the way this music changes with the fighting scenes. Oh, he goes Thor mode right there. He's like freaking Thor or something. But yeah, like those uh, zombies, they look way more realistic. We see some rips and stuff. Like what is happening here? Okay. And this one could be my most favorite character. Like when you see him at first, you're like, ah, oh, this character is not cool. It's some, some old dude, like he already has gray hair. But then when he swings that giant hammer and just smashes everything, you're like, this dude is OP. I'm actually wondering what this character's name is. Even though he's like like pretty old, he's pretty pretty cool. Like the way he just smashes everything and then this general there. Oh wow, he's spinning, spin to win. <laughs> That effect right there was a cool one. Like how, how the, the time sort of like slowed down, like this slow motion there, and then how the attack finally happens. And that's a freaking cool looking sword. I love that grip right there. Like I really love the love for detail here, how like those skins are made and how the zombies have like those unique skins and even the dreadlock. Like this is a whole different variation of the dreadlock skin, like one that I haven't seen before. And I really like this when animators have something unique about them or unique skins. Because I've seen like a couple of animation uh, videos where people use the same skin over and over again. And yeah, then it's not so unique. But here it's very, very unique. Because even if you have like familiar faces or like the Dreadlord, there's still our own version of it. And same with the zombies here. I think that's pretty dope. Oh, we got some glowstone! Glowstone. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, so Kung Fu. Bruce Lee mode. Ah, okay, so that's... Yeah, they're armors. Oh, wow. What I envy here is I wish I actually had such seats uh, for my Minecraft uh, Kingdom projects. Like, I wish you could actually uh, create such seats or like thrones in Minecraft because you have to use like stairs and stuff uh, to, to create seats. So this looks really, really nice. I wish there was such a block in Minecraft for real. Yeah, those mimics are really well done. Oh no. Who is this guy with purple eyes? Ah, oh, which lord or what? Which lord? That spear is OP. Oh wow, we even got brown zombies. Ah, oh, Bruce Lee mode. Wait a moment, but can zombies be really taken out with martial arts? Since they're already deceased, like they're already dead. Usually you go for the head. Oh wow! He also has good combat animations, I have to admit. What are those uh, shadow thingies? They look interesting, what mobs are they? Wait a second, what are those mobs here? Those 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 shadow figures? Like those uh, sort of entities or what are they? Are they like ghosts? They look pretty pretty interesting and they are freaking strong. Oh yeah, he's so cool. So strong! Oh no, behind you! No! Why him? He was my favorite character! Are you kidding me? No! Please survive! Why my favorite character? Like, you're the coolest. I love his, his compass, like how he's like swinging this giant hammer. Not him. I, ho I hope he survives. Like, please survive, dude. So you're freaking cool. Oh, there are multiple dreadlocks. No! No! Wait, is he his son or friend? Maybe it's his son. No, that's a sad moment right there. Mm. Yeah, like, we need a quiet moment for this guy. Oh, wow. Okay, that's it. <sighs> but that's a cool uh, animation. Like Jeff Vix, he really knows what he's doing, and I love the way he does the mimics. Like I've noticed this already in like the first scenes when this guy was like eating that apple, and how like the eyes move together with like while the eating animation was going on. And to work with mimics can be sometimes tricky. Because you want the mimics to also fit the mood and the environment of an animation. I feel like he did a really, really great job with that. And those combat animations were cool. I think this is like the, yeah, no, not just I think. I know this is like the first animation where I see someone swing a giant hammer in such a fashion. And this is already like my favorite character from the beginning from when I first saw like those combat scenes. Like, this was so cool. But why did my favorite character in the first episode that I, I checked out like die? Like, why? Why this keeps happening to me? Same with like Rainy uh, Mater, like the, the Ender Dancer. Like, why why this one uh, has to pass away? And then now this guy. Like, I'm always so unlucky. Like, I always pick the characters as my like, most favorite ones that just uh, die quickly. This is the same with Naruto. Like, oh wow. Like, I don't know, each time, even when it comes to like animes or something, and I pick like uh, characters that I really like, they seem to to be gone way too soon. But hey, like this was a really, really fun animation to check out, and wow, those combat scenes, they were impressive. How this, this, this armored general guy, like how he was like spinning around with a dual wheel glaze, and that's freaking OP to use dual wheel glaze. I love this combat here a lot. 
And what I also really appreciate here is how when that fighting started, how that music changed and became really, really fast paced and exciting. And to match the music with the battle scene, that also requires skill and to pick the right song. Like I notice myself from editing videos to find like fitting music can be sometimes tricky, but I feel like this song right there, that's called, what is this song called? I think the song is called Also Weakness, right? It's from Prisma. And I feel like it's really, really fitting in my opinion. Like I really, really, really appreciate this one and like this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. I wish you guys all a wonderful day. Please stay safe and healthy. And I will see you guys next time.